How's it going guys, Angus here from Makers Muse. So I've been testing the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and P1P recently for an upcoming comparison and review. But recently there's been a bit of um, drama around these machines possibly not having thermal runaway protection. So just to cut to the chase, yes, they do both have thermal runaway protection, but its implementation is um, not really adequate. But essentially I wanted to test this on my machines and show you guys how it currently works. And Bamboo Lab are aware, they've made a post about how they're going to improve it, but it may take them some time because they're dealing with the big C over there um, in Shenzhen right now. So just be aware, these machines do have protection, but it's not that great and this is how it works. So thing about both the uh, X1 Carbon and P1P is uh, the hot ends are incredibly well insulated and very powerful. So it's actually really, really hard to do a safe thermal runaway test where essentially you point a very powerful fan at the hot end and sap heat away faster than the hot, the hot end heater can heat it up, which therefore will trigger thermal runaway in printers. So I actually had to resort to using the exhaust fan from my laser cutter to sap away enough heat. This is after removing the silicon sock, by the way, from these uh, hot ends because they are so incredibly powerful. So I'll start with the X1 Carbon. I set it all up and pointed the exhaust fan at the hot end, hit preheat to 260 degrees Celsius, and then started a timer. And it tried to heat up and actually got all the way to 240 degrees. Like the, again, they're very powerful hot ends. And this is with the exhaust fan pointing point blank at it, sapping heat away. But yeah, like Bamboo Lab said in their report, after three minutes, the heating is cut and it just goes down to zero, which is very strange because it couldn't possibly hit zero. It's like the software just cuts the extruder temperature altogether. Uh, and from this point on, you can't heat it up anymore. You can heat the print bed. That seems to be a completely independent system but you can't heat the extruder anymore. And indeed on the home screen here, it shows that there's been an anomaly and you can't use the hot end until you do a hard reset on the printer. I haven't found any way to get around it. You literally turn the printer off and on from the power and then you're allowed to use that hot end again and it can heat up again. The P1P is very, very similar. I did the same thing. So I took the hot end silicon sock off, pointed the exhaust fan straight at it, set the preheat to 260 degrees Celsius and set a timer. And again, it tried to heat up, got very, very high, yet again, very powerful hot ends. But again, after three minutes on the dot, it stopped preheating and dropped down to zero. And again, couldn't do anything with it. I could heat at the bed, but again, couldn't heat the hot end until I did a hard reset from the power. So what I think's happening, and what I think it's set at three minutes before thermal runaway protection kicks in, is I think it's just like an arbitrary number that Bamboo Lab set from start preheat. And if it's not at the number, then stop and go into an error because these hot ends like the X1 carbon could go up to 300 degrees Celsius and it might take it quite a while to get there. So they've got this really, really long three minute timer for this thermal runner ready protection, which is why some of these uh, other guys on YouTube have thought that there hasn't been thermal runaway protection because a lot of damage can happen in three minutes, like PLA boiling out of the hot end and stuff like that. And they say, yeah, the hot end will eventually read a point, reach a point where it can't melt down and catch fire, but it very well indeed could destroy itself, especially boiling PLA at 300 degrees, 400 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's a very subpar implementation of thermal runaway protection, which is something they can definitely fix. I was unable to test the heat beds though, because they are so powerful that even with the exhaust fan and my attempts to use aluminum L angles as heat sinks, I was unable to set the temperature down below the 100 degree cutoff for the P1P, which is ridiculous. So yeah, Bamboo Lab, I really do hope you have thermal runaway protection for the heat beds too, because I was unable to test it because they're so dang powerful. But yeah, there you go guys, just a really short update video on the second channel. Look out for a full comparison and review video on the main channel very shortly. Um, and if you have any friends who have these machines and they're concerned, then feel free to point them to this video. Happy printing, bye.